Hello, everybody. It is Prodigy Queen again, and in this exciting Prodigy video, we will be testing out and reading all of the Winterfest Wands 2020. Now, before we begin this awesome, exciting video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button and smash the notification bell so we'll not miss out on any awesome Prodigy videos. So, in the Winterfest video, there are a lot of new buddies, there's a new pet, and there's some three new wands. So, today we're going to be testing out, te testing them out. Now, we can get these three wands from the Yeti called Howard Cornelius. I have to see you again, wizard. So, he says all those things, and we um, there's a new pet, as you can see. And But this, this Jingle Bell wand is common and old, it was their last product too. But the Snowman Spellcaster, Snowflake Wand, and Snow Globe Scepter are new. So, we're going to be testing out these three wands today. So, we can see their stats over here. And as you can see, the Snow Globe Scepter has the most power. The Snowflake Wand and the Snowman Spellcaster both have a 2 out of 4 power bonus. and But the Snow Globe Scepter has 3. And also, the spell is Winter's Breath. It sounds interesting. Both of the Snowman Spellcaster and the Snowflake Wand are both the same exact thing, except they look different and have different descriptions. They have the same spell, the same power bonus. So today, we're going to be testing out both of these wands. First, let me go ahead and give a small introduction about how we will be testing. We will be testing by power and stuff. So, what I mean is, um, which one has the most power, is good, it gives you power bonus. I'm going to start off with the Snowman Spellcaster. I'll wear it. Power bonus is 2 out of 4. Ice Element Pet, obviously, because Winterfest is all about ice and winter. The spell is Snowflake Strike. I like that name of the spell. It's a range of 3. And, you know, because strike happens in all 3, if you just strike 1, the other 2 will report. The little snowman atop this wand has been said to do a little dance when wizards win battles, sold during Winterfest. So today we're going to be testing out all both of these three wands. And so since I haven't done today's daily snowman battle, let me go ahead and use the snowman spellcaster wand on the snowman today. So let me go ahead and find it. Let's go towards the left now and go down towards survey. Oh wait, that's not survey. Go another down to survey. Survey. Um, it's rarely ever near survey. And it's not. I, the thing I really like is this small bear with the candy cane in the bag. I love that they put like real Christmas and you can stand in patches of snow. Prodigy still hasn't patched that. You can even stand on Howard Cornelius. That's so weird. So the thing is Prodigy hasn't patched the snow and the snow looks so cool too. Oh look guys, they found a little snowman. Let's go ahead and battle it. So let's see which pet we got. And we got an ice creator. So here we are wearing our snowman spellcaster for a hot second. If you just look at it, it kind of it kind of looks like a baby like bottle because you know. But the snowman's um like head cap that Beanie is wearing is a little more triangle sharp. So I'm just gonna increase the volume there so you can hear a little bit better. And it's weak. This wand is pr actually not that bad. It made the pet weak. Hopefully, it'll do a power bonus in just a second. Let's go ahead and test it out. So, we just used Snowflake Strike. But that's not actually that bad. It only did 2,000 damage. But, so, um, this pow this pet is, um, this wand is not a pretty good wand. Um, it, it just only does 4,012 damage. But, it's an improvement. Because when I use my Trasmaster's Paw Wand, um, it only does 3,900. But, this is an improvement. So, if you feel bored of carrying an animal cut off paw still blood dripping down the stick, you feel bored of just waving it and clawing it around the big monsters and then getting ripped and clawed yourself, use the snowman spellcaster. You can, um, this, this, this snowman will do a dance, which looks really cool. So, guys, let's now go ahead and earn our 11 battle stars and 10 snowflakes. And, guys, a known glitch that you can get lots of snowballs and stuff with is if you if you accidentally get 9999 nine, nine, nine. what you do is you buy another snowball and you'll get the perfect amount of everything woohoo all right guys now let's go ahead and head back to the shop and i would give this i'll give this one a three out of five rating because it's actually not half bad it does um pretty good amount of damage but not as the amount i was expecting like for example, 4,100 or 4,200 or to be improvement, 4,500 or 5,000. 
to be the best wand ever. So let's go ahead and go back into Howard, Howard Cornelius, and this is the snow glitch I was telling you about. You can actually stand in Howard Cornelius. Let's make it look like we're holding Howard Cornelius' hand, like, Daddy, Daddy, can you get me that goat that I've been wanting? And he's like, okay, and strangled up a goat, and we ride all the way back home. How Howard Cornelius is just totally different from the other Yetis. Like, um, he looks a lot like the Grumpy Yeti, but I don't think they could be related, could they? Because right, this one's more cheerful and cute. Um, so let's go ahead and now try, um, now let's put on the other wand. This one's rare. It's also rare. Um, the one I'm excited about is the Snow Globe Scepter, but, um, the thing is that's heroic and, um, only the Snow Globe Scepter and Snowflake Wand are both member only, but, um, the only one that's heroic is the Snow Globe Scepter, which has the most power. So right now we're going to be trying on the Snowflake one. It has a really simple name. So let's go ahead and go over to it. Also about the Snow Globe Scepter, the reason I like it so much is because it lo looks really cool. This is the Snowflake one. It's power bonus 2 out of 4, Snowflake Strike. And here's the description. Summon a squall of snowflakes to strike down. Sold during Winterfest. The thing about this wand is it reminds me of squallies. Because, you know, squallies squall up and stuff like that. Hee <laughs> hee, get what I mean? Now, so let's go just go ahead and look at uh, both of these pets. Snowflake Wand is a very, very simple name. Like, it, it could be, like, Snowflake Strike related, like, um, Snowflake Cluster or something like that. More alliteration or, like, more creativity because you can, you can just, like, Fire Wand and stuff. So I'm going to wear this wand and let's go ahead and go into battle. Since you can't get more than one daily snowman, we're going to be going to a random place. Um, the place should be a simple place. For example, let's say Shiva Chill Mountains. You never know what. Also, the thing with prodigies, you can't go between those two lamp posts, and that's horrible. I really want to go between them and, and like jump up to the top. Oh, and hello, Hunter Life Shadow. You look really nice in those presents and stuff. I'm gonna say hello. You look really um, you look really nice in that bow and present. Looks really cute. I think I should decorate into Christmas too, but I really like these. Besides, the Ice Dragon Tooth Crown is a little icy, festive, right? A lot of people are wearing something that you get. I don't forget what it's called, the Ice Crown. You get it from the Shiver Chill Mountains while um, collecting ice crystals and selling them to the merchant, which gives you some items, and you can get it from there, and it's really popular, so I'm going to try this on. It looks like this on me, and I already have these on. That's pretty nice. So guys, let me go ahead and go over to a place where we can battle with this wand. So that that place will be Shiver Chill Mountains. A little simple would be nice. Skywatch? Nah. I think Shiver Chill Mountains would be actually a lot better. Or Bonfire Spire. Ooh, the wood Bonfire Bonfire Spire gives me the shivers. What? Andrew, the W1240 at level 100? Who is this person? Wow, that's the same exact name. Now let's go ahead and go over to a puck and battle it. So, it's a really weird. I think Prodigy should really remodel the puck a little more times because in old Prodigy, it was completely weird. Now it's a little more weirder and I should make it more like wearing glasses, holding books like a nerd. So, I'm going to go ahead and start off with Falling Star Smash since we're not allowed to use Snowflake Strikes because our spell isn't power up enough. So, let's go ahead and use Falling Star Smash over here. And the thing about, um, the thing about area spells is that, like, you cannot, you, um, area spells or you can charge them after two spells or something. But the thing about, um, spells attached to wands, they, the thing is that they, um, charge with more spells. So, guys, let me go ahead and solve this question, and I'm done solving it. So, let me go ahead and just claim this quick little badge called Fractions Add and Subtract. And I don't know why Prodigy makes these badges so long. Suppose you're competing in an arena with a friend or something, and you want to answer a question, but you get this annoying badge in the middle. Wow, we got 4,531 damage. Wowee, that's not bad, actually. It's a spell power bonus improvement. So I would rate this wand um, a pretty good amount, but let's go ahead and now use Snowflake Strike, and I'm done solving that question. So let's use Snowflake Strike, and whoa, oi! It, it, it almost knocked that hob out of there. So, I'm um, overall, I'm going to rate this, I'm going to rate this wand a 3.5 out of 5. Because this is not much different from the other wand, just the spell hour bonus that made it better. So I'm going to rate this 3.5 out of 5. And the other one, I'm going to rate 3. So guys, I might always change my rating when I look at different wands. So I'm, I think I'm actually going to change the rating of the um, Snowman Spellcaster wand. Why is that? It is because I think 
I think actually it did a pretty good amount of damage, but not as good as this amount. So I'm going to change that snowman spellcaster to 4 out of 5. And this I'm going to change to 2 out of 5. Now guys, um, the reason I'm going to change these two, even though they're both the same thing, is because Prodigy can never make two pets alike. You know, two animals or two fingerprints can never be alike. So the thing is, Prodigy never, Prodigy applies to that policy. So he'll make one wand less powerful. Don't listen to the stats and stuff. That just average and stuff. So, so guys, I think that the snowman spellcaster, I will write three out of five. This wand is actually just powerful because of a spell power bonus. And that's kind of like cheating because wand, you have to do effort, not use a spell power bonus to make you successful. So I'm rating this. This is actually really bad because it does 3,962 damage. Yay! A spell power bonus only made you seem powerful. This wand is a completely bad wand. I recommend to use it if you only like low, if you want to do like um a long question battle with less damage well but you most likely get a spell power bonus with it so unless you like those and you like less damage then i recommend you put this wand on we get two snowflakes that's the best part two magic snowflakes because you battle two monsters in one let's go ahead and head up head back to winterfest and so far my rating is two out of five for this wand and for the other wand i'm gonna give a rating of three out of five the snowman spell has to three out of five the wand snowflake wand I'm going to give the rating 2 out of 5. Now let's look at the one that I've been looking most forward to. That one is the Snow Snow Globe Spellcaster. It's a it's um Snow Globe Scepter. I think it, this this should be named Snow Snow Globe Snow Globe Spellcaster, and this this should be named Snowman Scepter or something like that. Because um um Snow Globe Spellcaster sounds so nice and jumpy, whereas Snowman Spellcaster is pretty jumpy too. But let's go ahead and look at this one I've been looking forward to. It's kind of a Three out of four. It spells winter's breath, which sounds really nice, like winter is breathing. Shake up a snowstorm to freeze your opponent. Sold during Winterfest. So guys, the thing about this wand, the reason it's my favorite is because it does a lot of damage. And there is my twin angel double to authority. Um, that's my old look during win during Summerfest, and that's pretty cool. But let's go ahead and get back to this. I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say, uh, what am I saying? Um, you can you can say wonderful. That looks so weird. I was trying to say fun this is fun but it just does something called wonderful one um wonderful and fun so wonderful that sounds cool so guys this about the snow globe scepter i'm gonna go ahead and wear it now it has a great power bonus and it spells the spell attached to it's pretty cool it's heroic and member only the snowflake wand is the same exact thing as the snowman spellcaster except it's member and it's like one star less according to me rating because it does a little less damage so let's go ahead and um wait why are we back to winterfest so let's go ahead and go to a place to battle. Whoa, did you see that? All the buddies just appeared, but no wizards for a split second. So there's that standing on snow thingy again. I really like this. I hope they'll make it like walk in a pond. I wish they could make like, um, like walk in a pond, like thingy, a walk in a pond quest where you can actually splash around and move and not just like jump around and stuff. I wish Prodigy could, um, like make their thing more interesting, like changing it a bit. So over here, um, we have 44 magical snowflakes. Now, if you go to the, um, let's go to the item section. And if you go to the snowball, you see we have so many. And the glitch you can do is if you buy one more, you will have 99 of everything. So guys, the thing about this is that it'll help you a lot more. So if this glitch happens, your thing won't fill up so much. And yeah, this glitch happens very rarely. Like if you click the snowmail too many times and you might be delighted with it at first, but it totally fills up the rest of your things. So I just recommend you buy and stock up all of them and then you can spend them. Okay guys, let's go back to Bonfire Spire and go up to the right again. Let's, um... Hold on, hold us on a second. If we use our snowball or anything here, it'll just melt. The water will boil up and evaporate. I'm gonna stand right in front of this, um, Nick. Okay, let's cover it up. Okay. Okay, so let's try to cover it up. Okay, the best we can, we can cover this up and whoa! It just, it doesn't even have to walk anywhere. It just jumps and then attacks to us. So here we are wearing the snow globe scepter and we don't have enough energy to cast Winter's Breath. Let's cast Supernova spell. 
And okay, so do not reduce the fractions. And I'm done solving the question now. We get this cute little badge, and I really like it. But still, if we're competing against someone, it'll take a lick of one millisecond more than um the stars thingy that appears. Um, usually after every badge. So the thing about Prodigy is that whenever Supernova is used, any kind of splashy astral spell, the plants on the uh, the plants below the pet, like with the carrot and the and the cactus house, the thing about those is they stay intact. I'll show you what I mean after I'm done solving this question. So that's just gonna be one fourth and minus so three fourths. So guys, um, watch how watch how the thing entire thing turns white except for the plants at the bottom. I think Prodigy did this in order to not make everything, and it only happens when you use Supernova. So next time I use Supernova, I will show you what I mean. Love how the cloak attacks too; it becomes invisible into like a puff of cloud, and then boom, it attacks. It looks so cool. Let's use Falling Star Smash, I think, again, since we can't use Winter's Breath or anything. Again, so let's go ahead and now solve this question. And the thing about um this this wand is that it's actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and now just use our last Supernova, because last spells are always a charm, just like third, third time's a charm. So like the third spell we're using, so third time's the charm once again. So guys, let's go ahead and answer quickly, answer this question. For some reason, my keyboard is getting really slow today. Hello, monster. Please help me. Okay, he left. So we're using Fongster Smash and did, whoa, 5,224 damage with the spell power bonus. This wand does a lot of damage plus a spell power bonus. This is the best wand I've ever had, according to me, because it does a lot of damage. It's heroic and member. And so I will give this one a rating 5 out of 5. Because it did a lot of damage. It's heroic, which I like heroic ones. It makes you feel powerful. And it's like, um, gives you more spell power bonuses pretty often since it's from Winterfest, especially. That's a rumor going around. You get it from someone special. It's from Winterfest. Alright, guys, that's all for today. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you will not miss out on any awesome prodigy videos. In this video, we rated and explored all of the Winterfest wands. So, once once again, the ratings are... Snow Globe Scepter, 5 out of 5. Snowman Spellcaster is... Dun, dun, dun. That is 3 out of 5. And the Snowflake wand is a simple wand, according to me, 2 out of 5. I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. I really will redecorate my house Christmas style. I love Christmas. Merry Winterfest, everyone.